What's up guys? So I wasn't gonna do this video on the Honor 5X, mainly because it's already a couple of months old and well, there's tons of videos already out there on YouTube, but a lot of you guys have been asking me about this phone. So let's find out if it's still worth buying. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, I've had a love-hate relationship with this phone, mainly because it does a lot of things so good, but it does have some quirks. Now, don't get me wrong, there's more good things than bad, but before we go into all of that, let me tell you what makes this phone so special. Well, for one, the price is only $200, but here's the thing, there are many great phones you can buy today for $200 and even less, but I can give you many reasons why this is still a great buy. Now, the Honor 5X looks very premium. The back has a metal cover, but don't be fooled because the top and bottom are made of plastic. Though when you pick it up, it does feel like the whole entire phone is made out of plastic, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's definitely comfortable to hold, especially for having a large 5.5 inch display. Speaking of display, you get a 1080p IPS display. I mean, it's not the best I've seen, but for $200, can you really argue? The colors are good, the viewing angles are great, and it even comes pre-installed with a screen protector. The 5X only comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, though do not worry because you can expand it up to 128 gigabytes using a micro SD card. This also supports dual SIM, nano and micro with LTE support. Also on the inside is a non-removable 3000 milliamp battery, which is fantastic and lasted me all day under normal and heavy use. Now I'm actually really surprised that Huawei included a one amp charger because it takes the phone about five hours to fully charge from zero to 100. Now, it would have been nice if they would have included, let's say a two amp charger, just to be able to cut that time in half. Now this phone does come pre-installed with Android 5.1.1, though I do know that the Marshmallow update should be released soon, and this is also running a very heavily skinned version of Android known as EMUI 3.1, and you're either gonna love it or you're going to hate it. Personally, for me, it's the phone's biggest disappointment. Now, that is my opinion and others may love it, but I just felt it tried too hard to be an iPhone. The missing app drawer, the icon design, and even the pull down notification felt so much like iOS. And if I wanted to use an iPhone, well, I'll just use my iPhone, it's simple as that. Now, I do appreciate the useful features that are baked into a custom ROM, like being able to use a fingerprint scanner to enhance a user experience. For example, if you press and hold the fingerprint reader, it will take you back to the home screen, or my favorite one, which is if you swipe down, it will pull down the notification drawer. These are things I wish my Nexus 6P had. Sure, you can throw a new launcher, but the menus and design elements are still there and that kind of bugged me. But despite it being so heavily skinned, the phone runs very fast and I had no complaints. It does get a little warm under heavy use and when playing graphic intensive games, but not so much that it's going to bother you, at least my daughter didn't think so. The sound quality is decent, I mean it's not as good as other phones in the same price range, but it's not terrible either. It is loud, but it's a bit dull and it's not full like I would have wanted it to be. And finally, the camera, and probably one of the most important factors that I use when I judge a phone. The rear camera takes great pictures. I mean, it's very consistent and was really quick to focus. I'm tempted to say it's one of the best cameras for a phone at this price range, but I felt the front-facing camera was not that great. I mean, I don't take selfies and I rarely use my front-facing camera, but if you do use one, you might not be too happy about it. So overall, I really like the Honor 5X. I think it offers a lot of value for your money, though there are so many great choices available today, and as a consumer, you have to pick and choose what's more important to you. Take for example the Blue Vivo 5, which I recently did a video on. It has a full aluminum body, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, as opposed to 16 gigabytes on the 5X, USB Type-C with quick charge, great sounding speakers, you have almost stock Android, it does come with earbuds, a screen protector, which I know the 5X also has, but you also get a case too, all for the same price of $200. Now on the flip side, you don't get a 1080p display with the Vivo 5, and the update to Marshmallow, well, it's probably not gonna come. No fingerprint scanner either on the Vivo 5. See what I mean? At the end of the day, you have to pick and choose what's more important to you. So for $200, the Honor 5X is still a great buy so long as you can live with the caveats that I mentioned in this video. Also, let me know what phone you guys want me to check out next. And if you guys have any questions regarding the Honor 5X, leave them down in the comment section below. Follow me on Snapchat if you guys wanna see more of behind the scenes. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.